Hey guys, so today we're going to teach you how to do merge sort. So in a merge sort, we have to declare an array of a particular size. And as you know, arrays are assigned indexes. So the first element of the array is assigned the index 0, while the last element of the array is assigned the element 6, because this array is of the size 7. Now, what do we do is that we compare the indexes of the beginning and the end. And since the index um, over here is 0 and here it is 6, 0 is less than 6. So 0 plus 6 by 2 is 3, which will give you the middle of this array. Therefore, we divide this array into two separate sub-arrays at the middle. Therefore, here it is 0 to 3, which is the middle. And this is mid plus 1, which is 4, to the last part, which is 6. So we can assign that part as either last, j, or end. And this we can say is beginning, i, or uh, front. Anything goes. So again, um, these subarrays can be divided further into uh, multiple other subarrays, which are smaller. And we keep repeating this process until we get to a point where the arrays are divided into a single element each. Then we compare these two subarrays and we put it in an order where the number of smaller magnitude is put first. So we're basically just sorting the array. So here 27 goes first and 38 comes second and 3 goes first and 43 comes second. Then we compare these two subarrays to get bigger subarrays. Finally, we reach a point where we have two large sorted arrays which we then put into much larger and the final sorted array. This is merge sort. Now we're going to explain the program. Um, and the sorting goes as over here. The sorting will go as first it will take 3 and compare it with 9. Since 3 is smaller, it first puts 3. Then it goes to 27. It compares 27 with 9. And then as 9 is smaller, it again puts 9. And then 27 compares it with 10. And then 10. And 27 compares it with 82. As 27 is smaller, it goes to 27, 38 and 82. And it continues on. And that's how it sorts it. And now to the program. Well, uh, first we declare the functions. The functions are void, merge, sort, and void, merge. The void merge is the one which uh, merges, does all the programs from here. And uh, merge, sort, uh, I mean, sorry, the merge, sort, yeah, it, it's the one which divides everything and then um, leads the function to, like, to the next part of the... <laughs> now, uh, we go on to the program the main program first we declare the array enter the number of elements enter the elements inside the array and then we declare the merge sort here a is the name of the array zero is the first like zero is the first element i or j or over here it's zero so we give it in the function as zero and n minus one is the last element of the array like enter the number of elements so you get an n over there and so n minus one since as you know, according to indexes of an array, it starts from 0, so n minus 1. Then uh, it goes over here, but according to the main function, then after you get all the values back, it prints the sorted array, and then you get the output. But inside this function, the moment you go to type, it goes to merge sort, it jumps into this function. Over here, word, um, void merge sort, a is the name of the array, int i, so 0. We make it as i, okay, so the starting point is taken as i and the ending point according to the program is taken as j. So it's 0 and uh, i is equal to 0 and j is n minus 1. And then int middle is the middle of it since i is obviously less than j, it's 0 and uh, 6, right? So obviously it's less than j. So it goes into this and uh, it finds the, like, uh, like we said, it finds the mid midpoint and then... Um, we uh, we go into the merge sort function again, like we make it a recursive function where a is the array again, i is the first element, and mid mid is the mid um yeah the middle value which is three. So it makes it that, and then it uh, keeps moving on. It uh, rec recursively goes back. It goes back, and then it again starts uh, dividing the arrays. Till it's all divided it does the same and after it goes to a a mid plus one and j and it so also it goes does only the left side first and then it will move to the right to side. the right side yeah so it uh, after dividing it till here it divides and then in merge it goes into merge where merge a is the name of the array again i is the first element mid mid plus one j and uh, a, over here with this it starts merging 
uh, first I I one is taken as I I one is taken as I and uh, I two is taken as J and uh, while both of them are I is less than J one and J one is less than J two um, it compares the elements now like it starts comparing the elements and then uh, if we have declare another temporary array so it um, if a of i is less than a of j it adds a of i's value into k into the temporary array else it adds the value of j a of j into the temporary array and then um, it goes on and uh, this continues till here and, uh, and the final part basically i will be the beginning and j will also be assigned to zero and yeah is, so uh, it will be assigned the first i i will be assigned the first value and uh, since over here we give it as i the first value becomes i i becomes zero and uh, j j2 becomes the last element in the array that is six according according to our array so it has to be it, lesser than or equal to that and then we're just incrementing the beginning and yeah the like in a of i we are like it's a normal looping statement and a of i is uh, we already have all the values according to this set of the program um, all the values are already there in temp, so it just uh, reassigns it into A, and then we get it as the sorted array in the main program. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.